Welcome to Be Swift Art. Today I'm mixing two more Daniel Smith colors. We're going to do Hansa Yellow Deep and Viridian. See what combinations we can come up with. I'm going to put them to the side. So I have my Hansa Yellow Deep here and Viridian here. And I'm going to start by just adding some clean water to them and get them thinned out enough to where we can paint with them. There we go. You can see it's almost like a whole milk. A little bit more water in there. That should do it. Yep, that'll be good. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same thing with the Viridian. Just kind of break it down a little bit first. And add some water. Get my got a lump there. <laughs> add a little bit more water. And a little bit more water. There we go. That looks better. So see when I swipe it away, it fills back in a little bit slow, so I'm gonna go a little bit more water. That's better. Fills in pretty quickly. So that's kind of my whole milk consistency, I say. Not skim milk. <laughs> that's very watery, right? Okay. So here's my color chart. Um, we got different percentages. 100%, 75%, 25%, 50%, 50%, then reversing it to 25%. And 75%, another 100%, and a wet on wet. So what I mean by these percentages is how much of one color and the, how much of a second color we put in to get the result. So I'm going to start just with 100% hands of yellow deep. It's kind of a nice golden color. And I'm going to go down my little chart here and just mark the top percentages because all the top percentages are going to be the Hansa Yellow Deep. And then I have Viridian, very beautiful kind of bluish green. And I'm going to take this on the second percentages. I'm going to make a mark so I know what I put there. And then I'm going to use 100% with the Viridian here. Okay. So let's see what we get. So 100%. I'm just going to dip it into the paint. And I'm going to bring it out. I'm going to rinse my brush off. And bring it out a little bit more. And we're getting a very pale version of this Hansa Yellow Deep on this side here. Okay, rinse my brush out. So now I'm going to mix. I'm going to mix 75% of the Hansa Yellow Deep and 25% of the Viridian together and see what color we get. So I'm going to do that over here. So I'm going to try to get, hopefully, 75% here of my yellow. And then here's my Viridian. Hopefully that's about 25%. Looks pretty good. Just kind of a guess. Can't really measure it precisely. So I'm going to mix these together. Ooh, look at that green. And here's what we got. Like a bright green olive. Rinse my brush out and I'm going to bring it back here to Kind of fade it out and see how light we can get it. Oh, that's a beautiful yellow olive green. Very pretty. So now I have this 75% mixture of Hansa Yellow Deep, 25% of Viridian. So I'm going to need another 25% Viridian to make a 50-50 combination. So I'm going to get me a nice brush full and mix it in there. And I have another shade of green. So let's put this on our paper. Rinse my brush out. 
kind of bringing this out to a very pale pale version of that like that green very pretty okay now I'm gonna go the opposite way so I'm gonna bring some of my Hansa yellow deep just make a little pile of puddle of that and then I'm gonna come back and add viridian so I'm trying to do 75 percent viridian to 25 percent Hansa yellow deep and let's see what color we got there oh, another gorgeous kind of a pine green look at that would be a beautiful pine tree pine tree green that's what I'm gonna call that it's gonna go up and bring back some over here with a little bit clean water Oh, that's a beautiful green. And then just to see what our viridian looks like 100%. Okay, and how light can we get it? There we go. Some color in there. That surprises me. I'm surprised at all of those gorgeous greens that we got in here. Just from those two colors combination. I was expecting green, but I didn't realize some beautiful, gorgeous greens there. So now we're going to play with it wet on wet. So I'm just going to draw me a little teardrop. And I'm going to take some of my water and fill in my teardrop with the water. Because this is the wet on wet technique, as you probably already know. But for the new ones, that's what we're doing. I'm going to put water on here, and I can see the water standing up off the page. It's damp. It's going to move because there's enough water on there. If you don't have enough water, it doesn't move as easily. So now I'm going to take my 100% yellow, dab her in there, then my 100% viridian, dab her in there. Don't want to get too much. And it's already starting to move around and mingle, but I'm just going to... Coax the colors a little bit to kind of blend them in there to get new colors. I'm trying to get all these colors in there too. So as you can see, here's our viridian down here. That's pretty pure. This is pretty pure yellow. But when we get into here where they've mixed together, I'm getting these gorgeous greens out of that. Maybe mix a little bit more into here, see what we get. Yeah, then I'm getting this green here, right here. See that? Isn't that pretty? Then I'm just going to take a little bit of water with no borders. Do the same kind of thing. Just splash it around, splash it around. Get it moving. Dab in little drops of the color here. See how much I have to put in there to get some of those greens out of there. Watching it do its thing. Now I don't want to mix too much because I can see you can get muddy. You can get pretty muddy pretty quickly. So we'll just leave it like that and you can see there's some greens there coming out. And we're just going to let it dry and that's where you really can know what you're going to be painting with. But these charts are great just to play with. They're very quick to make and you can surprise yourself and see what colors you get out of there. And you just kind of keep, keep them. And as you're looking into a project and you wonder what colors to use, start looking through your color swatches and see what inspires you. Well, thank you for joining me today. I hope that you will try these techniques out and see what colors you come up with with different color combinations from your paint box. These were all Daniel Smith paints, but you can use whatever colors you like. All right, until we meet again, I hope that life follows you with lots of peace and love. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.